Even before the crisis, young people faced high unemployment levels. In 2007, in most OECD countries, unemployment among young people stood at around 13%, or just over 1 in 10. The situation varied widely between countries, between 20% in Spain and Sweden to under 10% in Japan and the Netherlands. Among older workers, the OECD average stood at around 5% in 2007, three times lower than for younger workers, 5% compared to 15%. Again, the situation varied widely, from 7% in Spain to 2.9% in the Netherlands. Since 2007, the job market has become much more difficult for everyone. The unemployment rate among older workers in OECD countries stayed at roughly 5% until the end of 2008, and then rose sharply throughout 2009. Looking ahead, the OECD expects the unemployment rate for adults to remain pretty stable until the end of 2011. But young people have suffered a much higher rise in joblessness. At the end of 2008, the real impact of the crisis was felt among young people. Three months later, it had reached nearly 17% and nearly 20% by the end of 2009. Looking ahead, the OECD expects the outlook for young people to change little. Youth unemployment stood at around 14% at the end of 2007. That's 11 million unemployed. By the end of 2009, that figure had reached almost 20%, meaning 15 million were out of work. In Spain, badly hit by the crisis in 2008, half of younger workers were on temporary contracts and were the first to lose their jobs. Unemployment grew by around 25 percentage points. In the US, youth unemployment rose to 19% at the end of 2009, but teenagers have been especially hard hit. Just over one in four 16 to 19 year old Americans were unemployed at the end of 2009. But in Germany, unemployment has actually fallen thanks to an apprentice system that works well and short time working policies quickly put in place by the government.